Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Phantom Media, and today I'm just going to be teaching you a few basics about After Effects. Now, the version I'm using today is CS4, but you could probably get the job done in any version, either CS3 or above, to, to right through to CS5. So, I'm just going to teach you a few basics if you've never used it before, and just basically, just show you a couple of techniques that you can use to get start getting your projects looking looking good, and get good effects out of it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go up to composition here and go into new composition. Now this will bring up this composition settings box. Now you don't want to get too overwhelmed by this, it's nothing complicated, you don't need to worry. So this will come up and the first thing that will approach you is the composition name. Now just type in whatever you want, I'm going to type in phantom media. And then this preset box you don't need to worry about, I like to set mine in manually, but look it's got these different kind of settings here for all different things like NSTC widescreen and power widescreen and HD TV and stuff like that but I like to enter my settings manually so I go I enter it the width of 1280 pixels and the height of 720 pixels so what you want to do that's an aspect ratio of 16 to 9 and that's the when you're watching on YouTube and you see the box where your video comes up, that 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 will fill the whole box. Basically, that will fill the whole box because it's widescreen. You want to leave this. I prefer to leave mine at square pixels, and the frame rate I have at 29.87. So that's basically just how to set it up. Then you come down here. You want to make sure your resolution is set up, set on full. And then here we go. Start code. You want to make sure that's at zero. Everything's at zero. And the duration of it, you want to make it about 30 seconds, if not. If you want to make it longer, then put it longer. But you can shrink it if you want to later on. So you click OK on that. Right. Now this will come up, this box here. Now as you can see down here, it's got my all my compositions. I've got some compositions here that I made previously. The render queue is where you render your files. But I've got my Phantom Media file here. So here we are. We've got this big black box here. It's got nothing on it. Absolutely nothing on it. As you can see, there's no layers down here to play with. So, the first thing we're going to want to do is add a layer. So, there's two ways of doing this for a background. This is the background layer we're making now. You want to go into layer, and it'll see new here. So, you want to go into new, and there's all these different layers here. There's a Adobe Photoshop file, null object, there's camera for twisting, like basically is like a camera, makes you move around, stuff like that. Light for light, text for text, and the one we are going to choose is solid. Now, solid is basically just a solid shape that is used. So you click on that and we're just going to call this BG for background so you know exactly what, what what its incentive to do is. Then we're going to make sure the units are set to pixels not inches or millimeters or anything. The aspect ratio, pixel aspect ratio is square pixels and you want to make sure you click on comp, make comp size to make sure it fills the box here. It doesn't really matter about the color because what we're going to do anyway will change the, change the color completely. Click OK and there you go, that's sorted. So, you might be seeing this effect some presets box popping up here. Now, if you haven't got this, you can go into Window and click on the effects and presets, or press Control and Five or Command and Five if you're on a Mac, and it'll bring that up. Okay, so when you're over here, there's a little search bar on the top. You want to type in Ramp. Yep, like that. And then to select this effect and bring it onto your layer, you can either drag it here onto the actual layer itself or onto the layer here. So I'm going to drag it there. And as you can see, it's got this kind of gradient fill on it. But I'm not too keen on the old black and white through gradient thing, so I like to use like a light colour and the core and then a dark colour around the edges. So the start colour, you want to be... I'm going to choose a green, nice lovely green there. Quite light, not too harmful. And the end colour, that should be quite a dark green. I'm not too keen on the linear linear gradient myself, but it's down to personal preference again. So I'm going to go to radial, drag that little notch up there, down here. Don't accidentally grab the puller thing. Pop that in the middle, don't have to be too accurate. And then drag this down to make it quite spread out. So there we are, we have a simple background to start start with. So, to way to add text, now we've got a background, you simply just go up to this little text icon here, click on that, 
and then click on the actual composition itself and you can type in what you want so I'm going to type in media here all in capitals make sure you've got this selected now you've got the whole thing in one thing so we've got I like bank gothic at the moment you could probably download that from somewhere it doesn't really matter I think it's one of the preset fonts in Windows I think or Mac whatever you're using so if you haven't got it you could probably download it somewhere else and down here as well we've got the color of the text we've got an eyedropper so you can select what color you want it so if I wanted click on that and make sure it's green that text change my text green press control and Z now because I don't want that color and now I've got like a, a kind of dark gray not black so here we go we've got you can change the the size of it with this pixel scroller thing you can change the spacing between it between, between the letters and things, stuff like that you can change the height of it yep we can change the the width of it and loads of other things within these settings here but really you don't really need to worry about that nothing really to worry about so there's your text in fact I'm gonna make change my spacing in it to make it slightly close together there we are that will do me I think that's good then to make sure it's centerized you want to press the at with the apostrophe key like that and it bring up this title action safe box or you can come down here and click title action safe on actually if you click it again take it off click it again and bring it back on again so then you want to make sure it's all lined up like that you can press the key again or come down here again and press title action safe off now it's all centerized and it's starting to look pretty good if I do say so myself now to get quite a good 3d three-dimensional look on the text I like to go into here and type in drop shadow and there we go it came straight up you go again you drag that onto your text if I'm going a bit fast I am sorry I am new to doing tutorials so uh, if you want to slow the video down a bit then you can do it's no harm in doing that personally I like the distance to be about 10 I like the softness to be about 15 and then we've got this nice kind of soft warm shadow on it in fact I'm going to turn the softness down to about 10 as well I think there we go and then you want the opacity to be on 100 in fact that's going to be 15 I think there we go sorry about that lag guys my screen capture software is making the screen lag so there we have it we have the shadow but another feature I really like as well you can turn the, sh the actual text off and just have the shadow itself which is pretty cool like that I like that I think that's a very good little feature they've added in so now I've got our kind of 3d looking text I've just moved that out of line I think so there we go right so now I've got that we want to start adding a bit of movement into it okay so let's go down here now the way After Effects works is it goes on like a timeline and you plot you tell After Effects how what exactly what you want it to do and how long you want it how long you how long you want the the action to go over. You'll see in a minute. I know it sounds complicated, but it it will come out in a minute. So if you come down here to the media text, we want the, we want the, the media text to actually move. So if you click down that drop arrow thing, if you haven't got that, it's probably you probably have. Yeah, you will have that drop shadow thing. But you can toggle the switches here, and you should have this effects thing bit on, and with all the three D box and everything. So if you click on here, and then you go into transform first thing you want to do is change your anchor point so click on that and as you see this bit here is the anchor point this is where if you rotate it that will be the anchor point so it will rotate from that point and if you scale it up it will scale up from that point so it will start expanding out this way so you want to change this so, so that it's in the middle right bang in the middle so that it comes from the middle of your, your image ok so that's in the middle now bring up your title action safe again put it in the middle of there and this helps to like centralize it as well take away your title action safe and now you've got the text in there so now this this is exactly what I'm talking about if you if you want it to go over 
Let's go. If you want, if you want the effect to go over four seconds, say, we're going to have it from that that start there, and coming up towards the screen, coming out towards the screen. So say we want that action to be over four seconds long. We're going to plot it between this not seconds and four seconds. So we like the size of it now. So we're going to go down to here to scale and click this little stopwatch. Now this will activate the timeline and start letting us plot plot things along the timeline. So if we drag that now across there, put it there. If we then go into here and expand this so this goes forward, that's now told After Effects that it wants to start small like that and then end big like that. Okay. <coughs> this is very good, and I don't know if yours will, but mine has definitely smoothed it out. So you want to, you want to be smooth. You don't want to just go and jump to it. You want to go, and now look, that's all smoothed out, and it can go towards it. The only reason it's not looking so good at the moment is because I'm actually dragging it rather than playing it. Because if I was to play it, it'd take quite a long time to render. So now that it's like that, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? So you've learned how to today. You've learned how to do a background. Learn how to add text and how to add a few simple effects in the effects and presets box down here. You've learned how to make it move, and so I think you've learned a quite big deal today. Um, if you're a beginner, there will be more After Effects tutorials to watch out for. So if you like this, this day's tutorial, please subscribe, rate, give us a thumbs up, whatever they do now, comments, and all that kind of stuff. So. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time for another tutorial, see you later.